this week's CAA football recap. They've never met before, but that's about to change. First time ever between the Panthers and Wildcats here at Heinz Field in downtown Pittsburgh. New Hampshire with the football second and seven. The fake to Peters, the quarterback keeping the option. Toman out on the edge, has got the first down and more. Trailing in the football game, 10-0, early moments of the second quarter. On the rollout, Toman to throw the other way. He's got a receiver caught. And inside the pit five-yard line. Out of the backfield, Sean Jellison. Well, he's on his way, making shots and hits like that. Question is, does he have a good dance? Yes. Field goal opportunity for the Wildcats is good. Wildcats appear to get back. This one picked off. The scoring drive is halted. McGinnis with the interception for New Hampshire and Pitt comes away empty. Nearly sacked, got the ball off, pass complete. Football resting at the 28. New Hampshire needing to throw the ball. Another pass complete. And guess who on the receiving end of that one? His last name rhyme with Fottenham. Yeah, <laughs> pretty close. Yeah. For the New Hampshire Wildcats. On the reverse. This is Fox to the end zone. And very close down to the two-yard line. Nicely designed play. R.J. Tillman from the shotgun. Straight up the middle. Touchdown. Dontre Peters with a first TD of the afternoon for New Hampshire. The Wildcats draw closer. No Napoleon complex at all. No, not at all. Okay. Decker got a hold of the snap throwing the other way. Touchdown. Decker hits a wide open number 87. Sean Cullen, the junior tight end with a catch. Final score today, Pitt 38 and New Hampshire 16. James Madison, the Dukes from Harrisonburg have made the 120 mile trip across state to take a visit with Frank Beamer and the Virginia Tech Hokies this afternoon. Call went against the left guard, Earl Watford. It was a well-designed screen. And some running room across the 30, 35 still gone, first down and more. It's a race to the end zone. On his way is Sullivan, and he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, James Madison. That covers 78 yards. Wow. One back set. Dubzik rolling. He's got the corner to run if he wants it. Fires, passes caught, and a first down. The tight end is able to convert that first down. It's Quentin Hunter, the sophomore from Orange, Virginia. On second and a dozen. Dudzik got a man open. That's a first down at the Tech 22-yard line. Pass in there to Jonathan Sharp, the tight end. Second down and goal from the seven. Dudzik on the keeper inside the five. Touchdown, James Madison. A beautiful fake, and Dudzik took it into the end zone. Haven't seen much of Evans. Here's Taylor to the near side. Intercepted. Tyrod Taylor picked off right in front of the bench for the Hokies. Interception made by Jonathan Williams, the weak safety. JMU had not showed the pistol offense until today. Here's Dudzik. It's a race to the end zone. And the Dukes have the lead. Tech going for it. Big play in this game here. Taylor. Blitz coming across the middle. Incomplete. And the JMU defense holds a battle at the goal line. Evans on the deep handoff. Fumble. Ball is loose. James Madison's got the ball. Third turnover of the day for the Hokies. A hat went right on that football that Evans was carrying. But now the Dukes have the lead and the ball, and it's getting late. Dudzik. He has got the first down and more. 
Sullivan, first down to the Hokie 48. They went over the left side where Theo Sherman and Earl Watford have been cracking holes in that Virginia Tech front since halftime. That's it. James Madison has upset 13th ranked Virginia Tech in Blacksburg. And James Madison beats Virginia Tech for the first time ever in arguably the biggest college football upset of the year. Here are the rest of your CAA football scores. Follow all the action of CAA football online at caasports.com.